there, this is Kurdi Kurdi speaking. I will be the teacher of today's workshop about how to ula hoop and if we can do that, how to strip hooping. So first of all, I will need you to learn some basic moves for this workshop. We're going to put the hoop around our waist, maybe a little bit here. it with my hands the most straight as possible, making this line. My left leg, or the right one, the one that is twist better for you, will be one step forward in a little bit diagonal. So this is my front and my leg will be in a diagonal, okay? So this move is pretty easy, but at the beginning I know it can be hard and the hoop will actually fall, but no worries, if you keep trying it will probably get there, you will get there. So the idea is this movement is like forward and backwards, okay? But for you to have a special tip, the thing of this movement is not aleatory. This means that you should do it when the hoop actually hits you. So my hoop will be here and will be here. So when it's here, I need to push it. And when it's here, I push it. So this is like the basic idea of the hoop. You are always controlling with different parts of your body, okay? So I will show it and the idea is that the movement of course becomes quicker. But look at me, I'm doing back and forward, back and forward. I'm not doing this or this, no, I'm doing back and forward, okay? This for me is the perfect place. Maybe you can find it here or a little bit more open your leg, that depends on you. So, um, one, another tip I can give you for this basic move is try to grab your hoop. When you throw it, you need to do it straight. I mean, trying to draw this line. You need to throw it, okay? So, first thing we're going to do is throw it and catch it. I throw it and catch it, okay? This is a little bit hard, but I promise you that if you practice all the moves I show you today, you will get there. So I throw it and grab it. Throw it and grab it. Look at my waist. When I throw it, I'm going to the same place where my hoop, and then I come to the place where the hoop is thrown. So, and I push, okay, and grab it again. So push here. This is the first move of forward and backwards. So maybe it's a little bit busy this workshop, but people who may try Ula Hoop once in their life, I think it would be very easy to do this. So for you people, if you can make this of throwing and catching, then we will try to do it twice. So one, two, and catch it. The same with three. One, two, three, and catch it. Okay? So this is a little bit step by step of how to basically ula hoop so then you can get this full move of back and forward, back and forward, okay? So this is the first move I need you to learn. Now we are going to the second one, that it will be neck hooping. So it's basically the same idea of waist hooping. The hoop will be here on our necks and we really need to have the hoop straight uh, we want our hoop to be here, not here, not here, okay? So it's the same idea. I will throw it with one hand. My leg, I also keep the same body position, you know? Uh, of course, you need to be tight. Your bed inside, the more balanced you are, the better move you will have, okay? So with the neck, it's basically the same. I throw the hoop. And the movement is back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. I do it pretty quickly and the move becomes very little. So I'm not doing this. But maybe at the beginning you need to do this, you know? Maybe exaggerating the move, like... I've seen many people doing this and it's not bad. But then you need to balance your body, keep it straight and try to push the hoop with the force to keep it moving without doing this because you, your neck will be hurt, okay? So, the same as the first move, 
we can do step by step and you can throw it and catch it. So the idea is throw it and catch it, okay? I took this glove and I will take this one because it's easier without them. But of course, as we are burlesque performers, we always do things with a little bit teasing move. So, we are here again. We need to throw it and catch it. So, throw and catch, okay? Me, I already know where I can catch the hoop uh, because it's easier for me, but if you keep trying this, you will find your own way of doing the same things as I. So, for you hoopers that already know how to do this, I want to um, at least to stay a little bit wide trying to neck hoop. So we have this move and we have waist move. So the idea is to make these two first moves, um, neck and waist hooping. So the third thing I'm going to teach you is how to go down from the neck to your waist. So the idea is basically that our hoop, when I have it here in this place, is open for me here because my front body is here, so here I have like a space to get in. When the hoop is here, I cannot do anything unless I do it backwards. So we need to try to see that other moves will happen in this place. When my hoop is open, 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 okay? I know it's a little bit hard, but okay, so that's why this is a workshop to learn. So I will try to get in with my hands when my hoop is open. So I'm here on my neck and when my hoop opens, I will try to get in. And actually the hoop goes directly to your waist. At the beginning it's a little bit hard and I can promise that then it will get very easy. Okay, so here are the three moves we need to learn for today. It's a little bit of weight, ho waist hooping, neck hooping, and going from the neck to the waist. Of course, you can check more tutorials and you can ask me if you are really interested of this for me to show you a little bit more in detail, but so as it's a small workshop, I will try to be as fast as possible. So now the idea is to do a little bit strip. Um, trying to take our clothes while we hoop. So we will start with the position of the hoop in our neck and we will be able to take part of our costume that is underneath the hoop. So if you got this move already easily and controlled, you can play a little bit of making circles around so you can show your amazing body. Here, if you are balanced and you can move freely your hands, you can start taking your clothes. So for me, my corset is really easy to take and I can take it directly to the audience. Woo! My hoop still here, that's the idea of hooping stripping. <laughs> so the next move, we will make, go down our hoop to our waist. If we have this move balanced and our hands can move easily here, we can take one part of our costume that is on top of the hoop. I will take my glove. So now I can take it directly to the audience. Woo! Ah. So basically, we need two easy hula hoop moves and we need a little strip that we can keep taking our clothes in different parts of our body. For example, we can hoop here on our chest, we can hoop here on our legs, we can hoop even on our hair. So, so this was the workshop for today of how to strip hooping. I want to thank Sapphira for inviting me to teach this small workshop. And I hope you can really get to strip hooping. <laughs> and I will be very happy to see you again on stage. So let's be confident. Let's share love. 
share knowledge and I see you soon. Thank you very much.